Events in Haiti and Chile this year have prompted local structural engineers to consider this country's level of preparedness. On Monday, stakeholders met at the Chamber Building in West Moorings and structural engineer Marc Francois said this country has to get its house in order. Many of the buildings that look big and strong are not strong because they lack the ability to behave properly in an earthquake, which by far is the most dangerous natural phenomena that puts our buildings at risk. Mr. Francois said the construction sector falls short in several areas, including a failure to implement and adhere to the Caribbean Building Code and also inadequate registering and monitoring of professionals within the industry. You always hear cries of people's horror stories with contractors, but there's no regulation of that industry. Our approval process is abysmal and few buildings are properly designed for earthquakes. The structural engineer said the issue of efficiency in the construction sector is now more pressing since scientists have recently discovered a new fault line which cuts across the country. And there's a kick out in Trinidad around Fishing Pond and they say the fault line, if you notice on the east coast of Trinidad, drawing to you, it does something like that. Where there's actually a shift and what they're saying is that the two plates, two, Trinidad is actually divided in two and separate and moving slowly. The northern part to the east and the southern part to the west. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sakram.